So this video is going to be speculative in nature. I'm not sure about a lot of things in this talk, but uh, let's dive right in. So let's start from the beginning. What is phenomenology? It is the philosophical study of the structures of experience and consciousness. Put another way, it's about how the I thinks, feels, intends, imagines, and many other things happening in the human's lived experience. Developed by Edmund Husserl, its central concept of what is one of intentionality. That is, the directedness of experience toward things in the world. Or in other words, it is to be conscious of or about things. This examination of experience through ideas makes up the meaning or significance or content of any given experience. So I know it's getting complicated, guys. I'm not a pro at phenomenology. I probably made a couple mistakes there. But uh, let's, let's slow down and talk about why Eastern philosophy goes beyond the bounds of Western phenomenology. And I will do this by examining my own brief flash of what is called Savikalpa Samadhi, or enlightenment with form. So this was when I was back in college, right? I had this inner vision of the dualities of the universe, right? I saw man, woman, self, other, nature, civilization, all of the opposites of reality uh, came to me in these images, right? And it was a spiral. So the images spiraled and the closer I got to the center, the experience, the feeling that I had went from happiness to joy, to greater joy, to pure bliss, right? And when I entered that bliss, I went into the center of the circle and I lost all conception of self. There was no I, there was no sense of, yeah, I can't totally explain it. Uh, so let's dive, let me, let me continue with the talk. So those with experience in phenomenology can see that this experience is not technically capable of examination once it culminates, since there is no I to know. It isn't consciousness directed anywhere. It isn't even consciousness directed upon itself. There is no self and other, no subject or object, no inside or outside, and it blows the structures of, of experience apart. In fact, it is not truly an experience at all. All sense of time, space, intention, awareness, being, non-being, and thought completely disappear. I don't know how to describe it better than that, but it was the realest thing I have ever experienced. And it's not a thing, and it's not an experience, and there wasn't an I to experience it, but uh, yeah, that was pretty confusing, I'm pretty sure. So. But it's interesting to me, so that's why I made the video. And thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Have a great day, guys.